Hello, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're staying warm. There is a Arctic freeze coming in, a big storm. Well, Grandma wants to tell you another story. Christmas is just a few days away. And so this story is called The Faded Blue Blanket. Blankets are kind of appropriate themes for cold weather. The most frightened shepherd that night was little Ladius, just 10. He cowered behind his three older brothers when the blinding star lit the hillside. When the angel appeared, he hid behind a huge rock. Yet after Ladius heard the glad news, fear left him and he limped back to his brothers who were planning to set out for Bethlehem. So that's the night Jesus was born and the angels appeared to the shepherds on the hill. Who will tend the sheep? Asked Samuel, the oldest brother. Ladius, leaning against his shepherd's crook to support his crippled foot, volunteered. I'd only slow you down. Let me stay with the sheep, he said. The brothers weakly protested then made plans to go. Do you think they were quite happy to accept his offer? We must each take a gift, said Samuel. One brother chose his flint to start a fire for the Christ child. Another picked meadow lilies to make a garland for the king. Samuel decided on his most precious possession, his golden ring. Here, take my blanket to him, said Ladius. It was badly worn, a faded blue with patches. No, Ladius, said Samuel, the blanket is too tattered to give even a beggar, let alone a king. Besides, you will need it tonight. The brothers departed, leaving Ladius alone by the fire. He laid his head upon the blanket and buried his face in his hands. Tears forced their way between his fingers, but soon the hush of the night soothed the boy's heartbreak. The world in silent stillness lay. Are you coming, Ladius? called a voice. Standing nearby was the same angel who had brought the news. You wanted to see the child, didn't you? Yes, nodded Ladius but I must stay here. My name is Gabriel, said the angel. Your sheep will be watched. Take my hand and bring your blanket. The child may need it. Suddenly, Ladius was outside a stable. Inside, kneeling by a manger, were his brothers. Ladius started to call out, but the angel lifted a finger to his lips. Give me the blanket, said Gabriel. The angel took it and quietly covered the baby. But the blanket was no longer faded. Now it glistened like dew in the brilliance of a new day. Returning, Gabriel smiled tenderly and squeezed Ladius's hand. Your gift was best because you gave all that you had. Wake up, Ladius, wake up. The boy rubbed his eyes and tried to shield them from the glaring sun. Hovering over him was Samuel, his older brother. Did you find him? asked Ladius. Yes, smiled Samuel. But first, tell me, why were you sleeping without your blanket? Ladius looked around wonderingly. The faded blue blanket was nowhere to be found, then or after. Now, this is just a pretend made-up story of something that helped to convey the shepherd's excitement on hearing the news to go see the baby Jesus and how a young boy wanted to honor the king also but he had nothing to give except a faded old blanket. And because he wanted to give all that he had, 
that was the best gift. I hope that as we think about Christmas and we think about the birth of the Savior, that we realize that it's not the precious things, the gold and silver that matter. It's things of the heart that we honor the Savior and try to do what he would like us to do. Because that is what is the most important thing that we love and honor and follow the Savior. Remember, Grandma loves you, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Bye.